Okay, cool. I'm gonna read off of this because I'm super excited and I don't want to like mess anything up. Okay, so we have our, our we have our stellar team of six, and half of us are here to present IO Go, a device for tracking the quality of ag products or manufacturing materials real time from a plant to production. Jacob will walk to demo our product as it simulates travel from a plant to production site. So, business owners, whether they are farmers, supply chain managers, logistics management, they need this data to learn what happens to the product in transit. This real-time information is used to make informed business decisions. So, one use case, let's go with crops. You use Osiris to prepare quality tomatoes on site, but then during the shipment from farm to production facility, our device is triggered because the shipment's temperature is too high and will spoil our tomatoes before they can be processed. We can then change the temperature on the fly to save this product, giving us a competitive advantage over our peers. Mike's going to explain the tech. Sounds good, thank you very much. So, we kind of took approach this from a perspective of wanting to create a mobile device that could fit into the fields as you go. So, the idea was to create a low cost, low power, small profile device that could essentially fit in with your regular de device uh, production. So, over here we have something that, you know, is roughly, it is Indiana, so roughly corn shaped. Um, something that could fit into your own production like that. We wanted to use, we used a uh, particle photon that connects to the, over the internet to uh, either Wi-Fi or cellular that can, uh, we can program it ro uh, remotely, which is always really fun. And then we uh, didn't have a GPS sensor, so we actually just built an iOS app that would forward the GPS coordinates to the app, or to the uh, photon, which was really cool because then we could actually pull it just like it was a uh, digital uh, DMM, or uh, like we were, getting the peripheral. So we can collect all sorts of data from that, like humidity, uh, temperature, all that kind of stuff, but the value of it is to have it in transit because you really don't have that ability, right up close, right, um, to track that very often uh, as it goes. So that's kind of the missing piece when you're trying to get everything from seed to production. So after that, we use the M2X service that then passes in all of the data points from that um, to, uh, then build graphs off of our front end. So we use a Angular 1 app to pull in the uh, location data in addition to some of the graphs that were generated by uh, M2X, which is really fun. So here you can see, this was our live tracking data. You can see Jacob kind of walking over by the food here. You can see um, you know, our tomato run to the bathroom and back and how the delivery has been going all over the place. So it's been a really effective way to actually track our product from start to finish. Um, that's kind of the missing piece and it's really what we tried to capitalize on here as the, uh, the iGo. And we hacked this over like 21 hours and, or not sorry, the battery life of this is like 31 hours, right? And this that's is cheap and it's how much? It's $40? for one of these, yeah. so you can make this to whatever you want to your sample size, depending on how big your crops or fields are, and then you can translate this back to whatever your businesses are to have uh, better statistics, whatever kind of BI tool you want to use. Thank you, everybody.